I think we have to uh, be clear that uh, we need to move away from institutional based healthcare is our only way of thinking. Why is it we know that it is pound what we spend every hospital and, and health centre, not that it is 100 million what we spend on bipolar disorder or epilepsy or rheumatoid arthritis? Now you have to have bureaucracies for the fair and open employment of people and the uncorrupt management of money. But healthcare is too complex for bureaucracies or markets to deal with. We need complex adaptive systems. So uh, for the future I would see could be a matrix, but it's actually a bit more messy than that. So we'd have a set of CCGs, DHAs, who knows what they'll be called in three years' time. So we've a set of those, but we've also a set of population-based systems. There are 30 big programs at the level of respiratory disease, cancer, frail elderly people. And in each of those, there's usually three or four big systems, like within respiratory, there's asthma, and chronic bronchitis and sleep apnea. In my view, there's about 100 big problems, and they all need population-based systems. And uh, these would be a new approach to healthcare we're calling population-based and personalized. So we don't go only to population. We need to remember that in the world of the mobile phone, individuals are increasingly looking for a customized or personalized service, just like you can choose the color of your mini before it's made. That's customization and personalization. So we're entering a new paradigm. We're leaving quality and safety and effectiveness behind us in that we just expect, expect those. But the new paradigm is the 2P paradigm, population and personalized healthcare.